Welcome to my channel everyone. In this video I will be showing you how I accomplished this gorgeous look. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. So the first step that I took was to go ahead and bleach the knots of the lace front. These are the products that you'll need to get to bleach the knots. These products can all be bought at your local beauty supply store or on Amazon.com or Walmart. You can look down below. I'll list all the products for you. So here we're going to start mixing together the bleach and the developer. Go ahead and do this in a well ventilated area particularly outside you'll do it if you're smarter than me <laughs> um I nearly died mixing this in my bathroom but like I said do this outside <laughs> you can see that I'm trying to mix it into a consistency that's thick but not too runny you don't want to get too much running into the hair especially if you're not trying to dye the hair so just trying to make it a thicker consistency where it hopefully won't transfer into the hair and this is about the consistency that I was going for so now we'll go ahead and dab that onto the complete lace front, trying not to press too hard to get any transference into the hair. We do not want it on the hair, just the lace. And I tried to cover everything. Then we'll go ahead and cover that with a piece of aluminum foil. I let the hair sit for about 17 minutes and <gasps> it died really fast. You can see that's the before. So we're going to rinse that out with lukewarm water. Go ahead and get all of that dye out. And I did notice while I was rinsing, that's what I'm showing you guys, that I did get a little transference into the hair. But we're going to go ahead and shampoo all of that bleach out of the hair and get it out really good. I normally would use a neutralizing shampoo, but I just didn't have it on me. So that's a good idea to use a neutralizing shampoo as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and co-wash the rest of the hair. I just wanted the shampoo for the getting out the bleach part. But I went ahead and co-washed the rest of the hair. Look at those curls. They're gorgeous. And that's how the knots are looking now. So I went ahead and went through with my brush and combed through to get those curls popping. So the next step that I took was to go ahead and tint the lace for my skin color. I used black tea that I got from the 99 cent store. I used about five to seven bags of this tea and poured it into the dye bowl. This is the color of how the tea looks. I actually poured it back into the pot and then put the lace that I wanted to be dyed in the bowl and then poured that over just so I wouldn't burn myself. And, and then I used the bottom of a spoon to push in the rest of the lace in here that I wanted tinted. I let it sit for almost an hour and I pulled out the hair in the lace and this is how it's looking it actually helped a lot with the transference that I got it tinted the hair pretty well which was surprising to me and this is how it's looking next I went ahead and covered up my wig Betty with a plastic bag and put my wig on top look at her she's gorgeous i pulled out some of the baby hairs in the front and then i plucked a little bit but i didn't really know what i was doing so i didn't pluck a lot <laughs> after i finished tweezing i brushed out the hair that i tweezed and then decided to roll it to let it set and dry overnight now this was the next day <laughs> as you can see I'm very nervous about this part 
I'm going to go ahead and try to put on the wig. Here we go. Okay, so I'm trying to just put on the wig. I have not cut the lace yet. I didn't know how and I decided to cut the lace off camera because it's my first time cutting the lace and I didn't want to mess up. So now that I've cut the lace, I'm just trying to decide how it will look on my head and where it should sit on my forehead. I started just kind of spraying everywhere which was a really bad idea if you use this please don't do this method because this was not the best way to do this it's running all over my forehead I don't have tissue to like it was just an, a disaster so please don't do it this way I would suggest to start in the middle and then go to the two sides and what I'm showing you now is just to remember to use it on the cool setting. Please don't use this on the hot or even warm setting. Now that it's glued down, I'm just going ahead and pressing the flat urn down into the part to make it sit really flat. This will help make it look a lot more natural. So they say. <laughs> So this is what I'm going ahead and doing and just making sure that that is sitting really as flat as can be. I don't know what that is. It looks really weird to me, but hey, <laughs> that's just how it is. I used my Mac Studio Fix in NW45 to try and blend any lace that was showing into my skin color so it would be less visible that's what you see me doing here and then i'll go ahead and do the same thing with my part that will that is on the hair will just be rubbed in and that will not be visible and <laughs> apparently i'm feeling myself i use this argan oil serum from her styler it's a really good serum to use you can use anything that you have i know they may not be popular but i really like their serum and it smells really good too <laughs> but just to give the hair some extra shine and i also use this uh, cream of nature mousse i love this stuff like i haven't used it in so long i've been having it forever but it's a really good mousse. I wasn't really feeling the curls until this. <laughs> this is when it's a couple days later. It's actually like the next day or two days later because I got on a flight and it's beautiful. The curls just like came back to their natural state on their own. I guess after being steamed in the shower because I did not get the hair wet. But this is how it's looking. You can see that's the part. I mean, that looks like my part and it's not. <laughs> this is how it's looking around the perimeter. If you've made it to the end of this video, you might as well hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.